got it all Christmassy in here with the lights. Look at there. Yeah. You did a good job. We're gonna start our giveaway next week. So. Cool. We got the Christmas tree on here with fingernail brushes. Yeah, it was actually almost every little branch was filled, except people started, okay, can I buy this? I'm like, sure. <laughs> Maybe that's what y'all need to do is decorate <laughs> the truck with tools like that, you know, and that way people will buy more of them. Yeah, we got um, 200 and something Christmas balls, which is actually really small compared mm -hmm. to most distributors because they go through, I don't know how many, but you hang them from the ceiling, you know, and yeah. you do a certain whatever, depending on what the distributor is and you get a giveaway. And like we said, everybody that gets a ball off our truck is gonna be a winner, whether it be a discount or something on that table. Cool. Man, y'all got a bunch of stuff up here. Yeah, we... Um, I see some liquor <laughs> back there. Look at there, boys. <laughs> if your Matco dealer ain't giving away Crown Royal and Jim Bean, what, what's wrong with them? <laughs> well, see, <laughs> yeah. we get to see <coughs> a lot of I don't, they just, they're connoisseurs of that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong and with that. So you know, Joe get, gives away, uh, he calls it um, flavor your choice or something. I can't remember what he calls it. But if you buy a toolbox or a cart from Joe, you get a bottle of liquor or a case of beer. Oh, well, that's and, nice. Uh, that's his thing, you know. But he gives away those little airplane bottles every year to his customers. Like, he has a drawer. You open it up and just reach in and get one. It's pretty cool. Oh, that's neat. Yep. Well. Those rat things, car, uh, race tracks are really cool too. They are going fast. Like all of those on the table are already sold from that's people cool. that's called and said, hey, do you still have this? And I'm like, yeah. Okay, well, set it aside. I'm like, well, I'm not taking it off my table. I'll put sold on it, but it's going <laughs> to stay on my table. But as you can tell, have a table here that's eight foot right mm -hmm. we had to take our pry bar rack out because i had to have my tree and back there is a table also because my box is gone uh oh because i sold it friday ain't nothing wrong with that <laughs> no but i told michael i said it's kind of bittersweet i said because we ain't got another box we got some on the way but you know it's just mm -hmm. it's waiting on us and so we had to go get this big old table so i said i'm not <laughs> riding with two empty spots on my truck there you go well, what new and exciting tools you got? You got anything new today? Well, honestly, I don't think I have anything brand new because, I mean, you know, getting stuff in. The sales fun. slow down at Christmas time or does it mm. stay about the same? Well, you know, in summer it's AC stuff and mm -hmm. in the winter time it's more, okay, I guess heaters. I don't know. I know that I've sold, like this is my order shelf and it's like full of stuff like Oh yeah, antifreeze, antifreeze testers. testers and stuff like that. I never knew what to do with them. <laughs> so. Test antifreeze with them. <laughs> yeah, but um, I also have a customer who is very, he likes to get all these kind of little novelty things. And I think I have his box around here somewhere. Like I said, ordered shelf, it's full. But um, he has, well it's not on here. It's a it's not a beer cap. It's something Mako started doing with the handles. Give me like a, a second. A bottle opener? Yes. Uh, yeah. I don't know where his bag went to. Oh. Yeah, I've I seen them. They had a blue one this time, I think, right? Yep. Black and blue. He likes stuff like this, and he don't like to buy all his stuff until it all comes in. I can't blame him. So, Golly. this is his. This is his goodie bag. I got some cool <laughs> stuff in there. Yeah. So he got this wheel weight hammer, which is actually pretty neat. I mm -hmm. didn't, I mean, I don't know 100% what it's for. Maybe you could explain. Yeah, putting wheel weights on oh. wheels. So that's the little weight that yeah, goes Yeah, this in part the... pulls them off. It's like a pair of pliers. You can paint them off on this side. You hammer them on with. Gotcha. Yeah, because they got glue or something on the other side of it. That's right. But this is what he ordered. Oh, the beer tap handle. Yeah. That goes with the kegerator. Remember last week? We got week, one this on time? the way. Do you? Yes. Cool. So we got one from another distributor that had a surplus of them. And so. Well, I know where you probably sell one because I'm looking for one. Hey, well, hey, I got one on the way. <laughs> you want me to order you one of these too? Yeah, might as well. But I mean, 
pretty neat. Yeah, that's cool. So, I mean, it don't go with. Well, last oh. year, you know, at the meetup we did, we, we went through quite a bit of, of <laughs> beer. So I thought, man, if I can get me a kegerator, we can just get us a keg, you know, and everybody can just fill their cup up or whatever. It'd be a whole lot better. And uh, <laughs> <clears throat> be way less trash to take out. It took me like, yes. I think we had 12 garbage cans in there and they was all full of bottles. That's recyclable. I would have loved to heard that garbage truck when he dumped that dumpster <laughs> next yeah. week. I'd like to heard that that clang of all them bottles. I bet he's like, man, this is like a frat party in here. Well, see, Michael, I'm not going to say nothing about my younger years, but we're different than Michael's. So mm -hmm. I grew up around, oh, we go to squirrel camp, you know, yeah. to yeah. hunt. And, you know, Michael's parents and stuff, they did bikes, you know, like mm -hmm. his daddy had a Harley for a long time, you know, and Michael learned how to ride a motorcycle before he did a drive a car, right. which is fine. I didn't. I drove four wheelers and stuff like that, mm. horses and all that. So Michael don't start drinking until he's like 23. Yeah. So our first, like, because at 23, I was 21. So we... He was respectfully didn't drink in the household until I turned 21. Yeah, our garbage man probably thought we were, <laughs> we were like it too. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, you know how it happens. Well, last year, you know, we had the one band that's here. Yeah. This year, I think we're gonna try to have two bands. Oh, well, that'll <clears> be nice. So it'll be a little, a little better this year too. Which I mean, it was great last year. I'm just trying to make it a little better every year, you know, so. Well, it, you had a really good turnout last year too. Yeah, I think it'll be better this year. It kind of sucked last year because it it was perfect weather until the day of the meetup, and then it got cold. So yeah, it did. It was pretty cold. But it's like here, like yesterday, I wore a hoodie and pants and was mm -hmm. freezing to death when I left the house that morning, and then by lunchtime I was burning up. So yeah, yep. That's what we were talking about. Uh, it's crazy so, you weather. Know, is I can't remember what company that one of my shops uses. Anyways, he, they switch. Okay, well, you can turn in your shorts because mm -hmm. it's not summertime, you wear pants, so you don't have them both at the same time, I guess, so yeah. you don't lose them. Well, he's having to swap them out and give them half and half. Mm -hmm. Instead of giving them like six pairs of pants, yep. he's having to give them six or three pair of shorts and three pair of pants. It's crazy this weather we're having. I yeah. guess no, it's so. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I guess. Well, it's cool. Y'all got the Christmas thing going on in here. And yeah. Be and looking forward to getting a kegerator. That'll be cool. Maybe it'll be in. And we'll be able I'll to meant to tell you, I set that guitar up. Did you? So it's a lot better than it was. A whole lot better than it was. So. Well, you say set up. You mean like tune a little? No, no. I mean things. like have the action set on it so it's not like, you know, oh. jumping off the third rope of the WWE ring, you know, when you're trying to play. <laughs> like it. I said, I don't know guitar, so I mean, I yeah, it's a lot better since I set it up. So, well, that's good. I'm not cussing it here, it's bad. <laughs> hey, don't you have to set up all guitars though? <laughs> kind of. <small>. No, no. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess you you probably could if you want them custom, but most of the time when they ship them to you and mm -hmm. and, and they're playable when they send them to you. So. Well, see, they thought because you spent so much on this guitar <coughs> that you would know what you were doing when you set it up. Oh yeah, I'm sure see? that's what they that's thought. What it was. <laughs> All yeah. right, guys, we're gonna get back in here and get back to work, but um, Christmas is definitely in spirit on the Matco truck today. Mm -hmm. Like always, thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, click that button. See ya.